the view. Thank you. Nice slice of best perform. feel it rush. Lighting is just so amazing. Hey girl! So Coachella is tomorrow. We're leaving tomorrow. Today's Wednesday. Coachella starts on Friday and I have zero outfits. Honestly, at one point we had zero tickets. Me and Andre were like, no tickets, no outfits, just vibes. But as we do every year, we are going to the White Fox gifting suite. This is like basically White Fox rents out this huge mansion in Beverly Hills and they just like gift out their clothing, especially like festival clothing for um, Coachella. I'm so excited because they have a a lot of cute festival pieces. The only thing is this house is really hard to get to because it's like in the hills. They do the same house like every year. This house is like in the hills. You have to be careful where you're driving and one of the roads is blocked off because they're doing construction, girl. It's crazy up here. But I'm pulling up right now. I'm one minute away. The house is so gorgeous. I'm so excited for you guys to see. If you've seen the other Coachella shopping vlogs, you've definitely seen what it looks like. It's the same one, but I'm pulling up right now. Ah! to shop i'm so excited also i have to pee so fucking bad you guys it took me two hours to drive here oh my god we made it here's the front entrance Ooh, look at that oh my god i have to go straight to the restroom i literally so much <laughs> by the way this is my outfit it's all white fox these are white fox little boots that i just got yesterday the two-piece size white fox i'm even wearing a bikini that's white fox the belt is white fox everything is white fox and then i have my new new bag and sunglasses there's some sushi over here we have a dj look at all the outfits Ooh, this is so cute i love where did the feather jeans go this is so cute oh my god i think i need these feather jeans that is look at this view white fox oh my god this is crazy Ooh. And then they're filming a podcast over here. It's called After Hours. Ooh. <laughs> There's a little nail station, but she's fully booked. So I'm gonna pick out some clothes and get that out of the way because sometimes they sell out. Here it is. I definitely want the shorts. I think I want it in a medium, yeah. I want it in a bigger size. Oh, this is cute. This little black dress. I already got this set. It's so cute with the matching jeans. Ooh. Let's see, lots of sparkles, lots of black. This is kind of fun. Oh, I love these little graphic tees that just say white box. They're cute. Oh my God, this is so cute. What else? Ooh, we got sparkly jeans. I do like this. This is super cute. This dress is so cute. Ooh, I got a baddest bod. This crochet is so cute. I'm like, oh, do I want the crochet? I made some selects and I don't know what I want to choose. This is like, I seriously have no Coachella outfits. We're just playing, figuring it out as we go. I think that these jeans are kind of cute, the little fuzzies. Then I found this black dress. It has a little cutout like this. This is kind of cute. It's just like a see-through sheer black dress. I thought I could wear like a bikini under it or something, but I don't know if I want to do black. This silver I thought would be super cool to wear with the shorts, even though silver is not my best color. But what do we think? Is that cool? I don't know. And then I got a blue because you can always use the, uh, the bikini. And then there's this little baby pink little dress. This is so cute. Like, girl, imagine with the boots. Also got this yellow sheer top. And then I'm on the fence. This could be kind of a cute outfit, but it could also be kind of basic. I don't know. Just this. What do we think? Like, if I wore this belt with it? I don't know. I don't know what I want to choose. I don't know what the vibes are. I have to go back on my Pinterest board and figure out what I want to cut. But those are just the selects that I made. So I'm gonna check out hopefully soon. Ooh, maybe I'll get a drink. They have some matcha. Oh my god, look at this. Is that strawberries and cream? That's so cute. Cheesecake, cookies and cream, and strawberry sorbet. And then I think this is where we check out. So I have to pick my outfits. Guys, I'm here with Scarlett and we're about to go on the After Hours podcast. So make sure to watch it. What is it gonna be on the Instagram? It's gonna be on Spotify and 
YouTube and yeah, our social reason period. <laughs> so before a flight or a road trip or anything like that, you have to download something, right? For me, it's always been an audiobook on Audible. And you guys know Audible is my literal favorite. I literally make playlists of all my favorite titles and all my favorite audiobooks because I love to listen to them in the car or on the plane. Life gets busy and everyone's always on the move. So huge shout out to Audible for sponsoring today's vlog. New members can get a free trial of Audible and on top of that, full access to a growing selection of audiobooks, Audible originals, and podcasts. You could download all of the included titles before your flight or whatever you need when you're on airplane mode. And Audible has the best selection when it comes to the latest and greatest thrillers. It is the go-to destination for thrilling and audio entertainment. One audiobook that really caught my attention was Verity by Colleen Hoover. Everybody loves this one. This one is so good. I could not stop listening to this one. I'd be like, oh, one more chapter, one more chapter. It's like, you can never stop. Another good one is End of Story by AJ Finn. If you want more thriller, mystery type vibe. But as an Audible member, you get one title each month that you get to keep from the entire catalog, including the latest bestsellers and new releases that everyone's talking about. But Audible offers an incredible selection across all genres, not just mystery and thriller. Personally, I'm obsessed with the self-help titles. You guys know I always talk about it. This is my Audible audiobook collection. Like... <laughs> From bestsellers to new releases, celebrity memoirs, mystery, thriller, motivation, wellness, business, and more. Audible's membership is so worth it. It gives members the chance to discover brand new favorites in new formats. But the Audible app makes it super easy to listen to whether you're traveling, working out, walking, doing chores. I literally listen to it all the time. <laughs> you guys know I've been trying to hit my 10,000 steps a day. So I don't know. Sometimes you don't want to listen to music over and over and over again. So that's when Audible comes in. It's my favorite. And I love, I feel like it always keeps my muscles, my brain muscles working. Working. But I love you Audible. Thank you for sponsoring today's vlog. If you guys want to check it out Go to audible.com slash audible and more and I'll put it right here Or I'll put it in the link down below if you guys want to check out audible, but trust me It's worth it. Sometimes I find myself less engaged But audible makes it so easy to be learning new things listening to all these self-help titles thrilling titles Whatever, but I love you audible and let's get back into the vlog. The podcast was so fun Now I'm ordering my matcha got some vanilla oat milk Ooh. It took me forever, but these are all the outfits that I choose. We get six pieces, so this is what I went with. And I think this will also be cute for Sierra's Bachelorette. We're checking out. Ooh, hey, thank you. <laughs> oh, it comes with a little fan. And a bandana. This, you need the bandana. Now I'm getting my nails done by Modern Pamper Salon. I get my nails done every single year by them. I just got my nails taken off, and I don't know, we'll see. I don't know what design I want to do. I think this is gonna be the inspo. We have some designs with some 3D nails. Let's do it. This is Louie. He has done my nails for the past three years. He's the best. If you go to Modern Pamper Salon. The nails are looking so cool. I did this aura design with all of these little gems. Now we're on the last set where we're just gonna add some little sparkles. Ah, I'm so excited. Guys, I don't know how, we, but we have to vote for Louis to be the best nail artist. If I figure it out, I'll put it in the comments somehow, but we're gonna do it. Okay, I don't know if you could tell, but the nails are done. We went with this pink aura nail theme and we got lots of sparkles. I just gave my valet ticket, so that's why I have it. But it's so cute. I'm so excited. I just gave my valet ticket. There's a lot of girls in front of me, so it'll probably take a hot minute, but it's gonna take a minute to get home anyways. <laughs> We're like one of the last ones here, so they're taking everything down. We always get our nails done at the exact same time. Show me your nails. Oh my god. Oh the bow. Oh my god. <laughs> Yes. Oh, it's not real. <laughs> when is the wedding girl? <laughs> it's my brand. You know Amber Scholl? Amber Scholl. She's like a YouTuber, but it's her brand. That's amazing. Yeah. This is Andre's shopping spree at Coachella. We are Come at shop with me at Coachella. <laughs> we are hours away from the festival and we're shopping at the mall nearest to Coachella. So Which let's say like, a prayer. Every year, I, I always say that Coachella's gonna fall into place. <laughs> Never and it really always, does. Like it always does. It always then... falls into place, but girl, we're cutting it close. I have one outfit. I need two more. And Blue's coming for the plot. Oh, we split up. I'm in Claire's. Look at this arm angle. That is so cute. There's so many little accessories. This is also cute. I kind of want this. Fire. I'm so happy. This is like the one thing that I wanted that I forgot to get. This little arm bangle and a little bangle to match. Oh my god. Literally stop because I'll get that right now. <laughs> Do you think I could put it in one of my ears? Like one of these piercings? <laughs> I switch at the fancy for Hello Kitty. Girl. Oh, it comes with a little dust bag. <laughs> That's so cute. I should've though. How much is it? Oh my god, 30 Canadian, $24. That's how much my whole order is. You want a plushie? I'll get you one if it's cheap. Oh, this one? Oh, just 24. Oh my god. It's so cute. 
you're joking. A French bulldog clip. Oh my god. <laughs> I would get it if it was the color. The blue. <laughs> <laughs> Does it fit? <laughs> oh no, it's kind of like <laughs> bag is secured at Paxson. We just ran into Holly. Hey, hey oh, It's Coachella with a K when I'm around, honey. Period. <laughs> yeah, so okay. What did you win? Did you win a drink? Period. Hey. <laughs> Coachella day one. I'm sorry, I tried to vlog at 818 in Celsius, but my battery wasn't working, but now it's working. We're at the hotel. We're with Nikki, Julianne, Andre, and we're about to head over because Sabrina Carpenter is playing in like less than an hour, so we're gonna head out soon, but yes! We're walking into the festival! Ah, it's the first time we're scanning our wristbands. <laughs> ooh, 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 ah. Did your boots stop working? Thank you. ID check for alcohol. And we made it in the bar. Aperol? Don't play with my Aperol spritz. I love my Aperol spritz. But Sabrina's performing right now. Let's go to Sabrina. Oh my God, we got the best photos. Like right here, there's nobody here. Andre was like, it's giving artists. Hey, Lalisa, where are you? Where's Lalisa? We know that she's here. But we're watching Sabrina right now. Her set is going on. But we have so much room. This is in GA, like period. Nobody's on the side. Man, it's Sabrina. Ran into some friends. But look at all the art installations. Look at, we have the rainbow moving one here. This one's like an optical illusion. This one is, she's giving Temple Run, honestly. And then they always have the rainbow.
on the Ferris wheel. <laughs> Guys, this is Andre's first time on the Ferris wheel ever. <laughs> what if I was like, take it. <laughs> what? Stop. That's crazy. watching Lana Del Rey last night and the wind was so insane. I was literally shivering, but I was like, I'll shiver for Lana, it's fine. But we get up a little bit farther and then there's like buildings that block the wind and it's like way warmer there. We should have just stayed there, but like honestly, yeah. Day one was so fun, you guys. It was, first we went to A18, which was fun. Celsius, we saw so many friends there. And then we met up with Nikki and Julianne. Nikki, like we basically told Nikki to book the same hotel as us, but me and Andre are like, like a little like we're like low maintenance <laughs> like people literally respond to my stories and they're like okay motel and i'm like girl coachella is so expensive girl and it's like it's just me and andre like you think i'm gonna spend thousands of dollars for me and andre to have a pool like no we have rich friends for that so like we're just gonna sleep at the hotel so like what the f like we might go to our friend's pool right now because girl why would i spend so much money we just have to tell them this code <laughs> Me talking about how cheap we are, you getting a coupon for $1 hash browns, girl. How much um, are they usually, like $2? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Nikki was frightened at our, our hotel. And I can, I admit, it's like not the nicest hotel, so whatever. And there, were, she was like, there's like guys waiting outside. She's like, I don't know, I don't feel safe. And I'm like, girl, there's 24-7 security here. Like, you're fine. Didn't like it. She booked a Airbnb somewhere else, but now she has two places. So we, we pre-gamed at our place, went to Coachella, immediately saw Sabrina Carpenter. She was so amazing. Like, she's just like a little pop star princess. And I was just looking at her hair this entire time. I'm like, ah! do you think that's her real hair? Like, be honest, do you think that's her real hair? Or do you think I she wears extensions? extensions? I don't know anything about extensions. Because her hair is so like thick and like her bangs. I'm like, oh, she's giving everything that needs to be given. But her set loved... was cute. I like the motel. Yeah, the motel theme. Like, I feel like only really like super big artists do like big sets like that. I was really surprised that she had like backup dancers. Like, she had budget. No, I think it's like anyone on like the main stage is gonna like. Has the... budget. But so actually, she, like, did Kelly Uchis like... have big budget? She had like a giant thing, right? Oh, that yeah. she's still on top of. Because they performed around the same time. Kelly Uchis was like six or something. Sunset. Yeah. But Sabrina was really good. We didn't really know a lot of the artists, honestly, in between. Like, all that I knew really the songs. About. Like I didn't know like the artists because it was like DJs, a lot of DJs. Yeah, all that we really um, cared about day one was Sabrina and Lana. So it, she ended around like 7.30 and we had to wait till like 11.30. Like what, 8, 9, 10, 11, we four went, we hours just Yuma like tent. fucking around. We went to the Yuma tent. Y'all, I had no idea the Yuma, Yuma tent even existed till like two years ago. It's amazing in between like different sets. They just have a DJ and they just play mm -ts, mm -ts, mm -ts, mm -ts, super loud. Um, And they have like really nice lights and stuff like that. And then and uh, we met up with our friend Autumn and we just like walked around the festival. There were actually some artists that I recognized, but f my feet hurt so bad. Andre went to the Ferris wheel for the first time in like how many years? Like eight? You have never been on the Ferris wheel. That's crazy. But yeah, we went. I think I went before on the Ferris wheel. Maybe one of my first Coachellas. I feel like do it once, but it's definitely like not worth the money. Yeah, it was like it was $15 per person. Could I do the steak, egg and cheese burrito? Or sorry, bagel and um, the, the two sausage burritos. You can, have one. can I have an egg McMuffin and a hash brown? That's everything. Thank you. My skin is so dry. Like I'd be down to buy moisturizer, like a face mask. What is that Tower Twenty Tower Tower Twenty Eight or it's it's just, Twenty Eight? Right? I think it's just a face mist. Girl, that's wrinkle release spray. I'm about to fucking spray this on my face. <laughs> I need some sort of moisture on my face. <laughs> There's Ulta. We could go to Ulta. But yeah, we just walked around the festival, under on the Ferris wheel, and then we got some food. They had Korean barbecue for the first fries, time. Korean barbecue. Never fries. seen that ever in my whole life. It was. Fun. Fire. It was kind of like poutine. They had like, wasn't it poutine? Didn't it have gravy? No, it was fries, the, the meat, was whatever a... sauce it was. And we also got dumplings. And Lana performed. She was amazing. She's so iconic the way that she just like strolled in with the fucking like motorcycle, motorcycle guy. <laughs> so funny. Andre and I literally we were watching. We were like, oh, there's gonna be memes of that tomorrow. But nonetheless, super fun. 
Came back home, sneezing up a storm, need to buy face mask, getting McDonald's breakfast, maybe going to our friend's pool. Hello. She's pink. Who's rich? <laughs> Have a good one. Her nails are cute. But I feel like everyone's gonna be like, oh, you know, Adeline's going downhill. She's staying at a motel. Every other influencer is staying at a nice Airbnb. Girl, we got the budget. We have the budget to stay at a very nice Airbnb, <laughs> but I would rather keep the money. Unlike these other influencers who would spend so much money on a huge hotel. I put that shit in investments, okay? We don't need to be flexing on Instagram. Only when it's our friend's money. Just kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> not kidding. <laughs> Show the food. I need a hash brown. Hopefully both of them are a dollar off. I'm trying new things on the menu. She's fresh out of the oven. You guys, we're doing four brand deals this Coachella weekend. I think I did one, two, three. I did three out of the four yesterday. Is that good? If not. I think it has like salsa and shit. Give it to like Blue. This one, however. I kind of want to buy merch today. I saw someone had like, it said Coachella on it, but it was brown. Brown is one of my best colors for my color analysis, so. <laughs> I think we're gonna come back to life this morning and I'll talk to you guys later. Welcome to Coachella Day 2. We're at Camp Poosh and they have a little Air One station. Look at this. It's so cute. You can grab anything you want. I got a little Air One tote. They have all the food trucks. These are my favorite pickles. Also, look at this huge line it's for shoes. Ooh, we got the Lemmy popsicles. They're so cute. Thank you. Look at all the Lemmy. This is so cute. I honestly like Lemmy has thrown on me a lot. One that I really want to try is Lemmy Purr. I don't think they have it, but next time I'm at Target, I want to get it. We're at the 818 bar. I think I'm gonna get the cabin fever. Oh my god, that was so fun. We met up with some friends, but now we're gonna go back to the hotel and then head to the festival. We just finished. We watched Grimes. She was having technical difficulties, but she still slayed. Now we're at the bar. We're getting ready because Ice Spice is about to perform at Sahara. So we're gonna get a little drink and then head over to Ice Spice. Also, everyone's pushing and shoving at the entrance right here. So I think I'm going around, period. We're here. We also took some photos at the Ferris wheel. Coachella day three. I'm sorry I didn't vlog very much yesterday. Honestly, it was so much fun. Like I did the whole recap on my get ready with me for Coachella, but I just did this little hair moment. I just put Coachella on the side of my hair. Literally wearing Coachella merch because girl, it's day three. It is impossible to be cute on day three. I just made it in. I'm like a couple minutes late for Victoria Monet, but I'm headed to Mojave. I think I know where it is. I think it's right there, but let's stay up here. Actually, I kind of want a white cloth. Oh, the line's not that long. Rose Garden. It is so cute in here. I always forget that this exists <laughs> because it's right beside Mojave Sage. But there's my favorite Kazunori here. I want to see if there's a long line and maybe get some hand rolls. I just met one of you guys. I put on my Snapchat. I'll literally do like a montage of everyone I met because I want to say 50% of the people I met, I remembered to say let's take a selfie on my snap. So I'll insert right here. <laughs> But I'm checking out the line. Hopefully, with just a party of one, I'll be able to sit soon. Yeah. Here she is. Gosh, 
This is my favorite restaurant. I'm so sad. There's like a huge line. I don't know because I thought that maybe since I'm a party of one, sometimes if there's like a party of five or three, if you're a party of one, you can like cut the line kind of because they only have a certain amount of bar stools. But I don't know. It looks like it might be a while. So I might just meet up Andre at VIP. Look at how fire. Oh, I did it last year. It's so good. I'm so lucky I got seated early. Hey. I love this place. I got the five. I'm so excited. This is the best food at Coachella, you guys. When I lived in Marina Del Rey, I would come here all the time. Mm, 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 mm. Thank so you. good. I told Andre I'd meet him in like 30 minutes in VIP. And then we're gonna go watch DJ Snake. We're walking out. The only thing that I want right now, we went to the Yuma tent to end because Doja Cat made me feel funny. I don't know if her demon stuff I can't. We went to the Yuma tent. So much fun. Ooh, okay. <laughs> but I need to see my ladies with the hot dogs. Ladies at the hot dogs. Yeah. We love the ladies with the hot dogs. Love the ladies with the hot dogs. Period. Okay. Period. Oh my God. Hi. Can I get one with everything on it? Oh my gosh, you just made my night. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, she fully loaded it. Oh my god, don't play. Oh. It's the next day. We're down bad. Packing up. <laughs> we slept until two, but trying to pack up everything. Motel, you did us so good. You were so cheap and you got the job done. But it's like 10 right now, so I'm gonna try and leave soon. Hopefully before traffic. Hopefully we can get home soon. Someone just did a couple laps. Ready? Let's go. Oh my god, we're on our way back from Coachella, but honestly, day three was really fun. Like, one of my, my only regret is that because I love Doja, but I kind like she just didn't perform like 20 of like her popular songs. Like she played all of her like her new stuff, so I didn't really know all of it. So I'm like, damn, we should have went to what's his name, John? John Summit. But that's John Summit. Yeah. Well, we were already at Sahara Tent because we were there for. <laughs> but honestly, day three was so much fun. I love that we got to sleep in. It almost felt like weekend two because weekend two is so chill and there's never any parties. Like, you just like sleep in during the day and like eat lunch and then you go to the festival. But oh my god, we were so drunk. I didn't realize I had three white claws and didn't it, like you and Danny were like, that's like six shots. <laughs> well, they were like big. <laughs> so we're so drunk on the way out i was yelling being like where are my ladies with the hot dogs and then people heard me and they were like yeah we love the ladies with the hot dogs and we started cheering for the ladies with the hot dogs we oh, love the god. ladies with the hot dogs we love the ladies with the hot dogs <laughs> period thank god we saw him andre got some fire pics of me with the hot dogs but honestly day three was so much fun and then we went to jack in the box <laughs> andre went to jack in the box Danny. I stayed home. They brought home fries and it was amazing. Was there like a long line? McDonald's no, he, last time was like an to, hour uh, line. It wasn't like a crazy line, but he charged his car a little bit. Oh, okay. But their chicken tenders look like eight. Whenever I go to Coachella, like before I used to get excited to meet people and now I'm like, I put my sunglasses on because I don't want anyone to notice me. I'm like, ah! I'm like, even just like, like mutual friends, I'm like, nobody talk to me. Because <laughs> people, because you're supposed to like, you want to see an artist and then people talk for like so long, like so Sorry. Oh my god, am I being mean? I don't know. But Blue had a good Coachella too. Hi guys. She slept all day. All day is her favorite activity, sleeping. I don't even know if I told you about day two. Day two, Loki Ice Spice was so good. Oh, I forgot about Victoria Monet was really good, honestly. I feel like she performed all of her best songs after, like at the end of her set, which was when I arrived. What did she perform at the beginning? She did like one of her, like a few of her big ones in the beginning. She did. My favorite is, oh my mama, oh my yeah, boo, I look fly, 
I look good. But day two is fun. And then we went to Neon. Every year I'm invited to Neon and I never go. But this year I actually was awake. I don't know what it is. I was able to stay up super late this weekend. So we literally, we had a car take us to the hotel. And then I guess like the driver can't really see that good at night. Like he's older. But it's like, why are you a driver if you can't see at night and you're driving at night? Like what? We were driving in Neon Carnival. I want to say it took us like one to two hours because we left at 11.30 and we didn't get to Neon until like two in the morning. It took so long. We were in the car for so long. It shouldn't have taken that long. It should have taken like, like what, 20 minutes max? Like max. But yeah, so we get to Neon. We arrive there and as we get there, Kirsten forgot her ID and they wouldn't let her get in because she didn't have a physical copy of her ID. And on the way out, we saw, I don't even know if I told you this, we saw Alicia and Remy yeah, and Ollie and everyone. And I was like, Alicia, give me your wristband right now. <laughs> she, like, she's like, gonna like slip it off. But I think Kirsten was just tired, so she ended up just going home. No, but she came in. Kirsten? Yeah, she came in because she was on the car right back. Kirsten Wait, came I'm in. bugging. She literally, but... she literally came in. <laughs> Never mind. She came in. It was, it was fun. They stopped serving alcohol at like two in the morning. It's like it doesn't make sense to me because like why is al why does America have guns but like they draw the line at like serving alcohol at two in the morning. Like that just doesn't make sense to me. Like Europe, it's like 24 seven. Do they even stop selling alcohol in Europe? Also, why do they stop serving alcohol at two in the morning? Like when when do they start serving alcohol? Like when are you legally allowed to start? Because what if you want a mimosa at five or six in the morning? Doesn't make sense to me. So we show up. Literally, they did like last call. I show, I go, I get to the front of the bar and then it's like, sorry, no, we're done. And I'm like, please, we just got here. Like all I want is one drink. Like, please, you'll make my night. She's like, no, f off. So we f <laughs> and we went and they were like playing music. They had like rides and stuff. We played some of the games. Oh my god, we ran into Ellie Thuman and oh, yeah, Hannah. Hannah Malosh. And they were like, girl, we're staying near this like little like water gun. You know the water gun? The water gun game. Whatever. Yeah, the water gun game. Where you, pop a where you pop a balloon. They're like, they start giving out this huge teddies at 3.15 a.m. So we're staying here till 3.15 a.m. to try and get that teddy. She and I was it. like, go She did? She got the pandas on Instagram. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. But. But yeah, we ended up leaving, but honestly, it was really fun. And honestly, all the parties that we went to were fun. Camp Poosh was really fun the second day. Camp Poosh was cute. And all my lovey matcha gummies. <laughs> I should have took more lovey matcha gummies because they're low key expensive. I should have taken more of those mushroom ones. Those are <laughs> the Air One counter. We were telling our friend because he has like an Air One membership. And we were like, oh yeah, they had like Air One stuff that you could just take, and you could take multiple of everything. Like nobody was really checking if you're only taking one, and like it was like it was laid out so it was like you know something was here, and then the exact same thing was here, and the exact same thing was here. So I don't know. I got the a good amount of stuff, but Air One's expensive. I got pretty good booty bags. I got some Barker cannabis, girl. Do not play. <laughs> our friend saw Lyndon Barker at the Lemmy event. Yeah. I think I might have seen it too. I feel like there was everyone there. Yeah. I wasn't really paying attention. But Coachella was so much fun. So excited. This honestly this month is so busy. Like we have Coachella this weekend. Next weekend, Andre and I are both going to Miami for Sierra's Bachelorette. And then the weekend after I'm going to Paris to pick up my custom order mini Kelly bag. I'm so excited! But huge thank you to our spot, not not of this video, but like just sponsors of the weekend in general, Canon and ColourPop. Love you guys. We're gonna go home. We need to go to Whole Foods and get a smoothie. I need something decently healthy in my system. <laughs> and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Blue's gonna take a nap. Also, our friend Danny from yesterday didn't wear shoes. What? <laughs> I don't know how he was walking in the rocks, girl. But live, love, love. Live your life, girl. We were living for it. Y'all know what time it is. Oh, yeah. You want it. You want it. I know you want it, want it. Please the sides feel it rush, sipping on Hawaiian punch. Please the sides feel it rush, sipping on Hawaiian punch. Yeah.